Hi guys, Steve here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tame a gacha. Now this creature is amazing, and it's one of the easiest tames you can do. Right, first of all, I'll show you where it is. It's underground in the aberration kind of area, going down from the surface. I'll show you the surface location now. You'll find most of the gachas at coordinates 30 by 22 in the top left hand side of the map. This place is called Sunken City. There's a couple of ramps down there. One of the entrances is over here. At 30.6 by 23.5. I'll just show you how deep it goes. It is a long way up. If you tame a gotcha down there and try and bring it up. But you can also go down on a bird and bring it up with a cryopod. Whee! I believe there's another ramp over there. And that takes you to another exit. Right, there is a ramp up to the surface uh, this side. So if you follow that it goes all the way up to the surface and under the ground is the best place to find all the gutches. This is what they look like. Right, to tame them it's really easy. All you need to do is tame yourself an owl and I've done a video on that which I'll link at the end. Right, the gotcha eats owl pellets and the owl drops owl pellets after it's used some stamina. So, and the fastest way to do that is press right mouse button and it freezes up and its stamina goes down really really quick. And release and press your defecate button which is plus on the keyboard for me and stamina's filled up so it won't drop any more pellets and the gotcha will just come up to it oh you need to <laughs> it's eaten it without me re being ready must be hungry right you need to actually put it on the ground It might have eaten now. Come on. A few of them. There you go. Picks them up. It's a friendly fella. Make more pellets quickly. Don't want to freeze him by accident. Make sure you do it a little far distance away. Nearly eating them all. Pick him up before he can pick him up. Otherwise, it won't register that you've actually dropped them. There you go, it's on times for taming, but that is the easiest tame in the game and it is one of the most useful creatures and I'm about to show you why. Right, I've got a saddle for it. You get those at level 38. It's like a basket that hangs underneath its chin. There you go. Now the odd thing, what I think might be a bug, is that on these you've got to go to harvesting and actually turn harvesting on. So you need to enable it, otherwise it won't harvest anything. 
So it's really good at getting fibre. Left mouse button. Okay, I think you have to be facing it. If you hit rocks, you get stone and flint. Health's okay. Stamina. Oh, it's got fairly good weight. And of course, if you put more points into melee damage, you harvest more. Right, let's try and find some trees. Come on, little fella. There's no points sitting in there. I think he wants a jacuzzi. <laughs> Come on, move your bum. No time to have a bath. Attacker he wants to harvest all the stone, makes this thing's really passive. It's a lover, not a fighter. It seems to only hit what's right in front of her. So yeah, not the best fighter. Right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's see what it can do against a tree. Oh, that's good as well. Still loads of fibre. Radius. So you'd have to get everything in front of it. But yeah, if you get one of these, you can get yourself everything to start off. It's like a one man camping machine to start building your base. Let's try and fight a pig. Let's have a talk show, it's a bit dark here. I don't think it's going to be a very good hunter. <laughs> Alright. Let's get on with its abilities. Right, you can, in fact, you can come over here a bit. Come on, Mrs. Duty. You can land there. Right, if you go to its menu and go to production, when you tame a gotcha, it has a random selection of items that it can make passively. Like if you wanted to make oil, just click that. Or let's do metal. Oh, now that Dillo would be back. Oh, it's brought some friends. Come here. Getting away this time. Right. Let's try that again. You need a resource in its inventory. Stone. Let's pick metal. 
and then hang around. As long as it's got stone in, it'll produce that item you've selected. Like so. In fact, I'll pick some of these up. Let me drop these. I'll show you what they are in a second. Those are from the others. That's the one it just produced. Metal. <laughs> it's awesome. And that wild one has just dropped a couple. What did that do? Give me. Arm shackle pump action. Oh, put it on the hot bar so I can find it. Dropped another one. Right. No, it's on top of the And that's what you get from random drops. So you can go to any, and it'll do any of these. We just have it do metal. Right, let's go and find another one show you but it does different items when it sits down oh, it's out of fight when it sits down uh, that's when it's creating the items for you just drop some, you have to drop something near it and it'll eat It's best if you come prepared with loads of owl pellets. And you can tame them really quickly. Have an entire army of producing gotchas. Times four taming by the way, and I love them so much. 100% efficiency. Right, let's bring you next to the other one and compare production. Come on, over here. Right, on this one. Salt, fungal wood, stone, oil, metal. And then on this one, organic polymer, congealed gas, blue crystals. Now, if you're very lucky, let's see if I can find another. You'll be able to tame one that produces black pearls, and you'll get more black pearls than you've ever seen. In your life. Let's drop them down. There you go. Let's see if I can get it from this one. Love you, 85. Like I say, this is what easiest tame ever. And it's one of the most useful creatures. Not that great at fighting. <laughs> You'll need bodyguards for it, or tame loads of them and put them all in a tribe. Group them all together. Finish them off. Looks like you're Ferrero Rocher, aren't they? 
Uh, Ambassador, you are spoiling us. Right, let's see what this one can produce. Metal crystal. Green fiber again. Yep, so just go around. Taming them until you can find one with black pearls. Let's group these together. Keep them safe. Now, as long as you've got stone inside them, and if you've seen, we can harvest our own stone. It'll keep producing. Okay, more of them should be effective at fighting. Ease up. Wow, three of them take a while just to kill a dillo. Not the greatest fighters. There you go, more metal. Taming a whole army of them. Right. As you noticed when I opened one of them, I got a shotgun, green one and some armour now what I've already done is a secret way of getting ascended stuff, I've already uploaded that video so I'll link it at the end so go watch it now if you want the best free ascended stuff that you've ever seen, it involves your gotcha that you've just tamed and trust me it's absolutely amazing if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to my other videos at the end. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.